It's hard to work out sometimes, no matter what the weather is, and it's certainly hard to take in the right information about how to exercise and lose weight. A lot of stuff out there, myths, or put another way, lies. Well, we've got you back this morning with a look at some of the weight loss myths out there. Joining us now Thanks is Lisa me. Lynn, our fitness expert. Very nice to have you here, uh, Lisa. You know, let's get right to it here. Myth number one. You want some people say, one. don't lose weight too fast. That's bad for you. No, no it's you, not. I have lost, I, I, I lost 40 pounds, and I fell in every one of these holes which is why I'm so passionate to educate people because if they're not losing weight or seeing results in the gym, yeah. it's not your fault. You're being fed a lot of stuff yep. that you need to know the truth. So fast weight and fat loss. Why do people think that's so bad? I want you to think about it like turning a light switch on. You walk in the room, it's dark. You hit the switch, the light's on. Yep. It doesn't delay. Well, when you adjust your diet and you're eating correctly and you're, and you're exercising correctly, you lose weight right away within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. It's not bad if you're not starving yourself. If you're eating the right foods, feeding the body, it's great and it's a sign you're on the right path. All right, so what do people need to know how to lose out, this? That, that's out there. <gasps> what, what is this? Okay, these are right here. four. This is, this is 20 meat. pounds. And the reason I brought all four of my, in a cart this morning to TV was because there's a lot of people out there that only need to lose five or 10 or 15. Whatever we're saying works for you. Yes. And you can lose this very quickly if you adjust your eating. And I just published a book called The Metabolism Solution that breaks down all the lies. There, It's backed up with clinical research about what we're about to tell people. And so what you need to know is fast weight loss is not bad it's a sign you're on track if you're not losing a pound a day you're not eating correctly period all right what about serving size okay people so, are confused about that and you would assume that government serving sizes in the food pyramid are accurate wrong follow them you're almost guaranteed to gain weight here's why you're how tall six six four and i'm what five nothing not six four okay so <laughs> how is it that you can eat this size plate and so can I. Nobody ever thinks about this, but a six foot four guy is given the same serving size as a five foot nothing girl. Yeah. You have a bigger gas tank, I have a smaller gas tank. If I eat what you eat, I'm gaining weight. And so people really need to think about that. Throw away all those, I hate to say it, move over Michelle Obama, serving sizes. Yeah. And you can eat on this, but Lisa Lynn has to eat on this eight inch plate, which is really Ever since we went from a, uh, an 8-inch plate or 8 to 10, we're up to 10 or 12 is the average, yep. our waistlines have grown more than 55%. Yes, and it's not pretty. No. Uh, let's talk about the, the whole high fat, low carb. I mean, everybody's so confused about, about right. that. Still. Well, and here's the problem. So, again, a guy like you might do great on paleo or a high fat diet, which I don't recommend at all because you're only supposed to get 20 grams of fat per day. Your heart needs 20 or less. Mm -hmm. Whether they're good fats or bad fats, 20 is the rule of thumb. So, so if you jack up your fat and eat all the red meat and cheese that you want because your carbs are low, you're never going to get rid of this. You might lose weight, but you'll be what we call a skinny fat person or a yeah. smaller version of your fatter self. Hence, so almonds, great snack people love. And this is one of the, the foods I decided I would bring to show serving sizes and fat. There are, first of all, a serving on this package is, is what they say, three ounces. Okay. 170 calories, okay? Mm -hmm. That's more than the 100 calorie snack. You're really supposed to have an ounce, which is about this size. That has over <laughs> 15 grams of fat. And label to label, it changes yeah. according to the brand. Hence, remember that 20 rule of thumb I gave you? You're over, you're done. We're running out of time, but I want to check the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the list here that we showed. Run through them one again, quick weight loss, it's okay. Serving sizes, be aware of what you were talking about before. Increase your exercise, obviously, that's so that you right. burn more calories than you take in. That's right. You talked about carbs and then supplements. Uh, that's a confusing word. Very, uh, because you said this to me before. They say supplements don't work. Supplements do work when you know what to buy. Number one, look for quality. And number two, so this whole bottle you would have to take. It was just on Dr. Oz. My, my segment was repeated about for scolin. Mm -hmm. You need 125 milligrams a day. You would have to have two of these bottles equivalent to one capsule because this has extract in it. All right. Extract high quality, know what you're looking for. It's a lot of information. Just get the book, That's people, right. and exactly. that'll straighten everything out. Nice to see Thanks you, Lisa. For Great me. to have you here for